Hi, these are some strengthening and balance drills. So it's all going to happen standing for this session. So we're going to start by rolling the shoulders and roll again. So big circles backwards and big circles forwards. That's it. And big circles backwards again and big circles forwards. Good stuff. Take a breath in and on the breath out, tuck in your chin and slowly roll down to your feet. Hold there and slowly up again, breathe in again. Breathe out, tuck in your chin and just feeling your vertebrae dropping down towards the floor one by one. Hold it there for a few seconds and tuck in your tailbone and slowly uncurl. Bring your hands onto your pelvis, feet hip distance apart and we're going to do some heel raises. So just lifting and lowering your heels. So lifting and lowering. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one, bring out one leg and just circle with the ankle. So if you need at any point to use your chair to help with your balance, go for it. But we're trying to get a challenge. So rest your hand hovering over the chair. If you want to have something close by, switch to the other side and circle at the other foot. Okay, we're going to do some more heel raises. So we're going to do two more sets of eight. If you feel like you'd like more of a challenge, feel free to go into single leg raise with your hand on your pelvis. Or if you feel both legs together is enough, Stick with both legs. So if you're doing single leg, again, have the chair beside you or have the counter in the kitchen in front of you. So let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch to the other side and go for eight, seven, or you're starting your second set with both feet. Five, four, three, two, and one, bring out one leg and do a nice circle at the ankle and change direction. And move to the other leg, circles and the other direction. Perfect, give the shoulders a roll. Reach forwards with your arms, stretching out between your shoulder blades and reach up and bring your arms around. Hands back onto your pelvis. We're gonna widen the feet, wider than your hips. We're gonna sink the knees a little bit and we're gonna pelvic tilt. So round your back like you're flattening your back and then arching forward through your lower back. So just rounding your back, flattening through the lower back there and then arch forward. So your belly button is moving forward. Round back again and arch forward. Come into your halfway position and stand up straight. We're going to activate the core. So take a gentle breath in, feeling the air going right down to your tummy and then breathe out, pulling up through your pelvic floor, switching on the lower tummy muscles and we're going to lunge our squats. All right, so sink down nice and low. Go for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Next one, hold right down and pulse. That's it, so we're starting to feel it in the thighs and through your glute muscles and come up, give your legs a little shake out. Good stuff. We're gonna do another set. So if you can, go for eight. If you can't, just go for a shorter set. So let's go squatting again, go for eight. Seven, six, five. If you're getting tired, just kind of bounce into very, very gentle squats. So you're always going to your own challenge point and hold it down and pulse. Perfect, and come up. Give your legs a nice little shake out. Perfect, give your shoulders a roll again. Roll your right shoulder, slide down towards your knees, getting a nice stretch along the side of your spine and Come up, roll the other shoulder, slide down, get a nice stretch alongside your lower back. And come back up, tuck in your chin, roll down and come up. Okay, we're gonna do some lunges. So you're turning to the side, one leg in front of the other. Giant step back with the back leg. So to make it easier balance wise, just widen the front of the, the right foot away from the left leg or just bring them closer towards each other. We're just gonna do some lunges. Okay, so we're just Changing your base of support, it's a strength effect, but also it's giving your balance a little challenge. Go for four, three, two, and one. Come up, give the legs a little shake and switch. Leading leg reach forwards to the arms. Draw in your lower tummy muscles, aiming for your shoulders over your hips and your back knee, just moving down towards the mat. And go for seven, six, five, four, three, two and one, 
step out of it, give your legs a nice little shake. Okay, so now we're going to go towards the chair. Okay, so you're going to hover your hands just over the chair. So again, you can use the counter in the kitchen. You can use a chest of drawers, a sink, anything you want, just to have the hands hovering. So you have a little bit of backup support, but hopefully you won't even need it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just single leg balance. You're going to lift one leg in front and you're going to hold that there. So we're going to aim for 20 seconds. Again, you've got the hands out. If you need a little bit of support, and go for 14, 13, 12, 11. So as it's getting easier, lengthening out through your collarbones, lift through your chest. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower that leg. Lift up the other leg, bring up your knee and hold again. So we're aiming for 20, 19, 18, 17. And you can have good days with this, bad days. You can have a good side or a less balanced side. I know my left side isn't as good as my right side. So we always just work and what isn't as good, go for five, four, three, two, one, and switch again. Lift up, hold for 20, 19, 18, 17. If you want to work on your core, drawing in your lower tummy muscles, again, lift to your chest, draw your shoulder blades together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch again. Bring your knee right up and hold there for 20, 19, 18, so you've got that little hover if you need any help. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and just come down, give the legs a little shake, and we're going to change that balance position. So this time we're going to put one foot in front of the other foot. So you're just kind of like stepping in front, I'm not sure if you can see there, one foot in front of the other, okay? And the exact same Drill again, you're just gonna hold that position nice and tall through your chest. And if you want to hover over the chair, go for it. We're going for 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done, bring the other leg in front. So just stepped in front of the other one and hold for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, if any of these are getting easier, just close your eyes. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come away from it. Well done, okay, we're just gonna do some high stepping. Okay, so just lifting up nice and tall, just getting some nice work into those hip flexors, and go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, give the legs a little shake. Well done. And coming onto one leg again. Okay, so a bit more of a challenge. If you're finding that this is hard at any point, just take a little break or just go the little bend forwards. Because what I'm going to be doing is reaching forwards, dropping forwards through the chest and kicking up your back leg. And you're aiming to hold for five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Switch to the other side. So a nice straight knee and the lower leg. Reach forwards, kick up your back leg. So you might find you've enough, just that little reach, kicking back the legs. We're just getting a little bit of extension into the hips. Three, two, one, come up. Switch to the other side, reach forwards, give the leg a little tap back. And again, you might find it easier to do if you know you have the comfort of the chair, you're trying to reach forwards. Three, two, one, and come up. And switch to the other side. Opening out through the hips, reaching forwards with your arms and hold there. Five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Well done. I hope you found them useful. Just nice for loosening up through the joints and just training a little bit of your balance, okay? Um, if you can um, do some mat exercises as well, really good, or just do this on its own to work purely on your standing balance. Okay, thank you.